Hey guys, thanks for dropping in. Today we're gonna. Thank God for crash pads. Well, that might look funny in the intro, but 30% of all climbing accidents are actually that. People just repelling right off the end of their rope. So I'm gonna show you three different ways to tie end knots so you'll never become a statistic. Statist statistic. Statistic. Shouldn't be using big words like that. Okay, your first stopper knot is gonna be the barrel knot. Give yourself some slack because you're, you're gonna wanna end with like some, some tail. So take it, put, take the rope, put your thumb over here, facing that way, away from the tail, and just wrap the, the rope around your thumb three times. And then just follow your thumb out. Tighten it up. And that's your barrel knot. Got your tail end, and that's your stopper knot. Your second stopper knot is just gonna be a simple, figure eight and that's it with this one you're definitely going to want to give yourself some tail because when you hit that if you hit that it's going to scare the crap out of you come down and that's your stopper knot stopper knot number two now for my preferred method so here's my preferred method tying right into the end of the line with a figure eight one of the good things about having your knot up here, tying into the end, is first of all, your knot's up here. It's not gonna be getting stuck down in a brush or a crack, which is probably one of the reasons why people don't even bother tying in a knot at all. But if you're using ATC, and there's no backup prusik, and your ATC isn't up here somewhere, because if it was down here, your prusik would just be useless. But anyway, if you weren't using some type of backup system, once this line starts flying, it just turns into a bandsaw. You can't hold on to it. So it's good to have some type of catastrophe knot in your system to stop your fall if that, something like that ever happens. Because this is basically soloing. As soon as you let go, you're going. That's it. I hope this brings some awareness to stopper knots and uh, saves a life or two maybe sometime. Maybe, maybe next time you're at the crag, you'll remember to tie in a stopper knot. So let me know what you think. Comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Out of frame. I figure while you're here, we'll try the other stopper knots. That's just the figure eight. Just the, not even a full figure eight, just the figure eight. Not passed back over. Seems to have held pretty well. Let's try the uh, barrel knot. And here's the barrel knot. Well, that seems to work good too. So if you think this is going to help somebody out, maybe uh, think about sharing it or just at least subscribing and liking so other people could see it. And I'll see you in the next one, like I said earlier. All right, guys, have a good time. Get out there and have some fun. I guess I'll just climb out of here. I mean, it's like just, just what we do. Yeah.